Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we are here in the truck series here at Atlanta We are car number nine out of 22 Tracks interesting with this car the first like five six laps by yourself at least you could go full throttle and then the Car will start getting loose on you In the draft it's a little different kind of wants to get loose in the draft a little bit easier, but very interesting track I think it's what 40 laps here or 30 something. I don't know. I'll check after qualifying, but we'll see what we could do here. The fastest I got by myself was like the mid eights. So a drafting time I got down to like a 604. So the draft means a big difference in speed. At least when you can go full speed and full throttle and everything. But yeah, you can just hook the bottom, go all the way around the track. Just don't turn too quickly. Just go like a nice gradual turn. Lift out of it a little bit if you need to. I kind of just use the banking to turn most of the way. But I don't want to make any sudden movements because that will try to get the back end to kick out and get loose. What do we get there? 841, that's not bad. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. I'll just full throttle this one. I kind of lifted the first lap a slightest bit, but see what we can do here. Try to take it all the way out to the wall to straighten the car out easier and keep my keep my speed up the most I can. Car definitely wants to push up the track in the corners. See if that lap will be any quicker. 775. I'm not disappointed in that. They ran a low 7706. That's a good lap. It's a very good lap. I'm happy with running a 775. Because the fastest I ran before by myself was like the mid 8s. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's going to be, what, 40 laps in this race? There are cautions. So we're going to probably start about mid pack, which I'm not surprised about. Dang, 681 by yourself? That's crazy. But we still got a couple minutes left to qualify. So I'll pick it up when we're about to go green. All right, qualifying's over. We fell all the way down to 14th, so we're starting very far back in the field, but it is what it is. Uh, four guys were in these sixes. Super fast times. That's absolutely crazy to me. I'm wondering if they like ran the high side all the way around to try to gain as much speed as they could. I don't know. Kind of got to experiment with that, I guess, if you're going to run this. Run a qualifying lap by yourself out there and just run the high side the first lap and then go low the second lap see if you generate more speed and actually get down to the sixes let me know that's the only way i'm thinking that they could because i literally gassed it all the way around the second lap and got a 775 unless they like just were a little lower than i was i have no clue i'm just thinking that they ran the high side at least in three and four coming to that second lap because you could hold it up there pretty easily when you got new tires but hopefully we can have a pretty good race here. Try to move up through the field. Maybe finish top 10. That'd be nice. I think you get one set of tires here. Oh, no. You get two sets of tires here. Okay. That's different. I remember the uh, trucks the last time I ran them. There was one set of tire, one set of tires. So they've been giving us two sets here for 40 laps. Very interesting. So I guess we get, I don't know, a 10-lap run, pit, and then pit again later, I guess. I literally, there's 30 seconds left. Rip. Three starting in six, so we're going to move up a row. Did that you sucks. and then come back, or? That's probably what happened. I did, but I was like a minute to go. If everybody grids up, it starts it. Yeah, I think once you grid and then ungrid, it counts your team on the grid. Yeah. No, it did like 30 seconds later. That's a rip, but he'll be fine, I think. There'll probably be a caution, and he'll get back to the field. No, I get what you're saying, but it's just, I've had it happen to me a while ago. Pretty sure that's what happens, though. If you grid, and then you get out of the car, if everybody else grids okay. before you get back in your car, you're going to start from the pits. And, uh, you're blinking. I'm just letting you know. Ken's blinking. That's Ken's on my inside, too. That's not a good sign. My internet just took a shit. <laughs> oh no, Ken. Hopefully he's fine now. Howdy, howdy. 
Okay, let's try to get a good restart here. Where's the 14 going? I like that truck, though. The good wrench, like Dale Earnhardt Sr. It looks really good. Never really seen it on a truck too often. It looks really nice. I like it. I've always liked that scheme, so. Can't see the leader. Waited all the way to the green anyways. 14's already taken it. Oh, I thought he was taking it three wide. I was going to be like, that's crazy. I kind of like running this middle groove once the tires get a little worn out. Let's see what we can do here. Try to make up spots while we can. We still got two sets of tires, so use them up, I guess. Unless this goes green the whole way, then I'm going to be screwed, but we'll see what happens. 15's kind of all over the place, which I don't like. I think I'll drop behind the 5 here. Or maybe not. Got a good enough run off of that corner. On new tires, you can definitely hook this outside and keep your momentum up. Damn, the 14's all the way up there now. I can just see the black uh, good wrench car. He's moved up quick. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody saves that? Holy shit, I can't believe everybody saved that. I thought for sure there was going to be a wreck there. Everybody checked up, and surprisingly nobody hit each other from checking up. I'm very surprised and shocked to see that, but that's awesome. Okay, let's try to get by this 22, because he's a little damaged now. We didn't get hit or hit anybody, so that was good. Let's see if we work this bottom. Getting to the point where you kind of need to let off a little bit going into the corners. And then a couple more laps, it's going to get real loose. I can't believe everybody saved that. That's crazy. I thought that was about to be a huge wreck, and I'm like, oh no, we're getting caught up in that. I think that's a 10 blinking up there. He's blinking real bad. Making me think somebody's wrecking. Every time he blinks, a bunch of smoke comes out. Yeah, I can definitely feel the back end starting to kick out a little. It's not too bad yet. I've run enough dirt to where I can kind of handle the car. And this track's so wide, it's kind of easy to save without smacking anything. You just have to worry about everybody else hitting you. Did y'all wreck the three? <laughs> yeah, the three's probably... Oh, like, the, time doing? the three's trying to hope for a caution. I feel like I'm a little quicker than these guys right now, but I think I just have to stay in line right here so we can get around the 16 first. I feel like my tires are pretty good right now. Try not to drift up into the guy above me. You got good momentum off that corner though. My car is pushing a little bit too much for my liking. I feel like there's some like arrow pushing when you're under somebody it feels like. When I was under the 16, it wanted to push me straight up into this car. See if we can make something on this outside lane. Not really. They kind of just pulled away in the middle of the corner. Everybody's really just tight together. Behind the uh, car behind me, we have a huge gap. Oh, the 10's not up here. I don't know what car it was that was blinking then. Because the 10's back there in 15. Everybody's running so bumper to bumper. You just gotta not hit each other. But we're in 13th. Right around where we qualified. We qualified 14th. 
We were almost up in the top 10 before all that shenanigans happened with almost wrecking. That was crazy. I need to go back and see that because I don't know how nobody wrecked there. And I don't see anybody sliding around either. Kind of expected more people to be sliding around at this point in the race. Oh, my car is pushing. Guy behind me pushed really hard too, I see. He went way up the track. I guess the uh, the draft pushes your car up the track a lot here instead of getting you too loose. Yeah, the guy behind me completely fell off so quick. Holy shit. He fell off a second and a half that lap. Getting dark though, so that might mean we have a little bit more grip. Sun going away with some of the clouds in one and two. Still see the sun here in three and four. I love that they had the dynamic weather and stuff. Because I remember when they used to not have it. And it was just all sunny or all dark the whole time. The dynamic weather is such a huge update. Which has been out for a while now, obviously. If you've been in iRacing. It's been out for a long time. Like a couple years, I think. That was like the huge update, which I still love to this day. I remember when it used to not be like that, and that pushed really hard. Might be burning up my front right. But I tried really hard in the beginning on that outside lane. My front right might be hurting a little bit. Yeah, that 22 is gone behind me. Holy shit, he dropped like a rock. He probably smacked the wall. It's not turning for him. That's my guess. But I really can't lose the draft right now. Because if I lose the draft, I'm going to drop like a rock too. That's the main thing. The draft is the biggest help in this at this track for speed. Three and four is a little easier than one and two. Just because it comes so flat off of two. It pushes you up to the wall real fast. But whenever there's a caution, definitely pitting. Because you got two sets, so might as well take it. I'm wondering what two tires would do, to be honest. I'm not going to do it right now. If there's a caution, I definitely won't. Because I didn't test it in practice. I'm wondering if it'll make you super loose. Because your left sides aren't going to have as much grip. I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. I was very skeptic when I went to go race this, and I started practicing that you're just full throttle around the track. Come on, y'all want to rub it right now, right? <laughs> oh, there they go. I had nowhere to go, fuck. Holy crap, I timed it. Oh, that's not good. Big problems with the motor. That was terrible timing. That's not good. I'm pissed about that. It said big damage with the motor. Big problems with the motor. I can feel it too. It's not getting up to speed. We're probably done here. Yeah, it's uh, it's struggling. My engine's definitely struggling. That sucks. I got not even know the wrecking house. Fuck. Just because it was like on the back stretch, I, I went low and then they were just sideways. I tried hitting the brakes and it just wouldn't turn after that. That sucks. Yeah, we're definitely done. That sucks. Ah, That's so unfortunate. I hate wrecks like that where you just have nowhere to go. But I was close to it, but I just wasn't far enough away to where I had time to completely react to it. Let's see how bad it is. There's, I don't know. I don't think there's any required. It's all probably optional, but it, my engine's done. It feels like, because we were not even getting up to speed catching the pack again. Lap car trying to get their lap back. What car number are we? Nine. Looking for it. Light blue sign. I can't see a thing. Somebody's in the wrong spot there. <laughs> there's two of them on top of each other. Oh, Seven and twenty. 720? Ah, oh, that sucks. That's tired. a struggle. I got 43 of required, but it didn't pop up saying we had required damage, so I'm kind of surprised by that. 
But I think we're done here because I don't want to get out there and just be in the way because oh, our man. engine was not getting up to speed. How'd you miss it by that much? I want to see what the hell happened there at least. Because it happened like a couple cars in front of us. Like around here. I know it was the 5 and I think the 14. I don't know what the hell happened. The 5 car. What the hell were they doing? I'm so confused. Like, I guess the 14 was loose off that corner. Started losing it. Maybe the 5 was loose too. And they both just like drifted all the way. That's so weird. 92, 96. Mine was 88, 94. Yeah, my tires were kind of broken. And I just didn't have anywhere to go. What in the car was I? Nine? Because, uh, they bounced so far down. I thought they were either going to stay up or bounce even really further down. But yeah, my front end was destroyed. Well, not destroyed, but it was hurt enough to where it went up into the engine, it seems like. Because we were real hurting. What happened in the very, very beginning, though? What lap was, like, super slow out of nowhere? Because it happened way up front. Oh, it was with the four. Okay, hang on. That happened way the hell up there. That was like third place. Okay, it does not... Alright, what car number was that? 13? Nope. <laughs> 14? Okay, I don't know what fucking car number he is. That's the uh, two, him, him. That's the light blue car right there. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Because it started there. I don't know how. He checked up a little bit, and it just freaking according to everyone else behind everyone started a wreck but nobody actually did which i was super surprised about that was kind of crazy don't know how that happened but uh we're gonna probably end up 20th it seems like here which really sucks because our engine is just not not having it anymore we had too much uh optional because our motor just wasn't getting up to speed on that caution lap i don't want to sit there in the way but we're gonna lose a good amount of eye rating but Oh, well, it is what it is, so, okay, let's get going. What lap are they on? They're on lap 19 of 40, so, yeah, we're going to lose a lot of I-rating, finishing 20th to 22nd, something back here, out of car number 9, so, oh, well, we'll move on to the next race. It is what it is, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the race nonetheless for what you saw, like, half the race, just about. It was actually a pretty good race up to that point until whatever happened with the five and the 14 and then it brought the six into it too which really sucks but then we got collected it i think everybody else pretty much missed it so that's unfortunate for us but that's racing that happens but appreciate you guys for watching like comment and subscribe if you want to see some more racing and i'll catch you guys in the next one